The Road to Carbon Neutral, presented by Tatao Energies. How can plastic be part of a sustainable future? This lightweight and resistant material is easy and economical to produce and is used across almost every sector and is essential in our daily lives. I would say now that we are talking about what will happen in the energy transition, the use of plastic will be even more important because many of the devices or technologies uh, useful for the energy transition will need to use plastics. Where we, of course, see the challenge for plastics is that plastics need to be managed at the end of their life to enter into a kind of circularity. And that's where, of course, we are talking about recycling. We produce approximately 300 million tons of plastic each year worldwide, and only 9% of global plastic production is actually recycled. We cannot afford that it is just incinerated or landfilled. So our task is to create a circular economy for plastics. We have seen from other industries that it's possible. So when you look uh, in the steel industry or glass industry, they have a kind of circular economy already since decades. So now it's up to the plastics industry to create the same. Not all plastics can be recycled at the same time and need to be sorted. Some products are made of different types of plastics, often glued together with other materials, such as paper or metal. Recycling plastics requires expertise in several different fields along the entire value chain, including eco-design, recovery, sorting, and technical recycling solutions, markets, and regulations. Part of our uh, endeavor from, from Total Energies was to to be one of the founding uh, members of the uh, Alliance to End Plastic Waste, which is a coalition focused on helping to develop new technologies that capture a waste before they pollute streams into the ocean, those type of things. Of the 70 companies across the chain, essentially a $1.5 billion budget to be spent over the next five years or over a five-year period before renewal. By working hand-in-hand -hand with the whole plastic value chain, we must create a framework to boost the circular economy for plastics and develop a collective blueprint to accelerate our transformation to a more sustainable future. Myth. Plastic recycling is a relatively new process. In fact, the first recycling plant appeared in Pennsylvania in 1972. The now globally recognized Green Triangle was first created to help consumers identify recyclable plastic products and went on to become a universal symbol of recycling used around the world. Innovators and industry leaders across the globe are continuing to develop new and improved processes to make recycling easier, less expensive and more effective. There are two main ways to recycle plastic. Mechanical recycling, where plastic is washed, ground and melted, and chemical recycling, where plastic is broken down into small molecules used to manufacture virgin-like plastics. Total Energies is constructing one of France's first chemical recycling plants in Grand Puy. The Grand Puy transformation project is essentially turning the former crude oil refinery into a zero crude platform, multi-energy and low carbon platform. First, there's a 15,000 ton per year plastic waste recycling plant, and we will do that with our partner Plastic Energy. Plastic Energy is a focus in, the, in advanced recycling of difficult to recycle plastics. What we do is to heat the plastics in the absence of oxygen. By doing this, we can convert those difficult to recycle plastics into virgin food grade plastics. Whilst more effective recycling is critical, producing plastics without the need for fossil fuels has a huge impact on the sustainability of plastics. Bioplastics are derived from renewable biomass sources such as agriculture and food waste. Biolife is a Turkish company creating plastics from olive seeds. At first, we collect uh, olive industry waste. We produce compounds to be used as a raw material in manufacturing bio-based product. And we also adopt our production process according to sustainable production principles. So we made our production sustainable as well as products. Total Energies has formed a joint venture with Corbion to produce PLA, a bioplastic that is bio-based, recyclable and compostable. We have built a first plant in Thailand. It started in 2018 and uh, given the, the success, we have decided to uh, announce the construction of a second plant, which will be the first plant of PLA in Europe and this plant will be constructed in Grand Puy close to, to Paris 
the capacity of this plant will be 100,000 tons. And when this plant will be on stream, uh, Total Energy Scorpion will be one of the biggest players in the PLA market uh, in the world. A market that grows annually by 15%. Cutting-edge technology is enhancing the plastic recycling process, such as artificial intelligence to automate sorting and blockchain to accurately track recycled materials. RecycleEye is using advanced machine learning, computer vision and automation to revolutionize waste sorting, using leading-edge AI computer vision to scan and identify mixed waste materials. The Recycle Eye robot then picks and sorts the waste and is capable of successfully delivering up to 33,000 items for recycling in a 10-hour shift. US-based Clean Robotics has developed TrashBot to solve the issues of putting waste in the wrong recycling bin. This clever robot identifies the type of object placed in it using sensors and machine learning, which it then sorts into the correct recycling bin. The development and use of new materials are also helping to improve the life cycle of plastics. Total Energy is partnered with Lanza Tech and with L'Oreal uh, to create an innovative packaging solution. So Lanza Tech uh, captured the carbon offtake emissions from a steelworks facility and converted it over into ethanol. Total Energy is then converted over into ethylene, which is the feedstock for polyethylene which L'Oreal then built an innovative packaging solution uh, to, to be introduced to the public. Scientists at the University of Texas have been using AI to develop a new enzyme that can completely break down waste plastic in less than 24 hours. A couple of years ago, a group in Japan isolated an organism that can actually grow on small parts of water bottles, and that really kicked off the discovery to identify that this function was due to an enzyme that actually can take PET and begin to break it down back to the starting elements essentially that make it up. We then use machine learning type of approaches to greatly improve the overall activity of this enzyme, which then can enable us to build it back up to virgin quality PET, or to be able to ultimately use that as a feedstock for other types of chemicals. Plastics are an integral part of our daily lives, but their end of life poses an environmental, societal, and industrial dilemma. Therefore, moving towards a circular economy with improved production and recycling will be vital for plastics to be part of a sustainable future. To find out more, visit roadtocarbonneutral.com. The Road to Carbon Neutral, presented by Tatao Energies.